song was sometimes it's called the Blue Ridge Mountains. During the Civil War, it was turned into a Civil War song. There was a lot of related songs. But that goes back to the time when the people were first coming across the mountains in places like East Kentucky. Now I'm going to pay you one that's even older, but I'll have to retune. I learned to play in probably 12 or 15 tunings. <laughs> It's not Linus's blanket, I never use it, but I keep it up there just to make sure, make me feel good. I am from Old East Virginia, North Carolina, I did go. There I am, if fair. came from East Virginia through North Carolina, Southwest Virginia, East Tennessee, over into Kentucky. A lot of mixed race people, enslaved African Americans. This song is a banjo song. I never heard it played or sung without a banjo. It was one of the first I learned. Now Clifton's going to play a song for you. It was a Knott County song. Now a lot of people know this song. In Knott County, when they wrote a song about battle or war. They were unflinching and very honest. So I, I give you a clip. Well, George mentioned that when, when I first met him, I was, I was 15, I think. And that same time, about the same time I met him, he played this song for me that he called Old German War. He told me it was derived from the Texas Rangers, which may be as early as the 1830s. George played it on a six string banjo. He used three fingers. So I ran home later that day and I figured it out on a five string banjo with two fingers. One more piece of information I should tell you is that uh, just a few years after I learned the song, I wound up in Iraq myself, 18 years old, in a grisly, unnecessary situation. And uh, I actually had a banjo with me over there in 2004. And as soon as I played the song for somebody, it spread like wildfire over there. Nobody else had an instrument. And they made me play this song every night, if we had time. It was the only, it was the first time I ever performed, and I was the only musician that we had.
Good. 
Clifton. Clifton Hicks. Wonderful. Thank you, George. Give me one more round of applause. Come on now. All right. Won't you please welcome to the middle chair here, Aaron Jonah Lewis. <laughs> He's a blue ribbon fiddler, international touring artist, and as part of his participation in the group Love Struck Balladeers, he's been playing this repertoire and technique of banjo, which he'll explain to you shortly. Anyway, make him feel welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Jonah Lewis. Thanks, how y'all doing tonight? All right, what a wonderful crowd. Uh, yes, I'm really happy to be here at the banjo gathering. And uh, I have been playing banjo for a long time. I've been playing bluegrass and old time and uh, traditional jazz and Turkish music on a fretless banjo and exploring the world of banjo. And now tonight I'm gonna play for you some pieces from around the turn of the century that to me represent the, not the peak, but a peak of banjo uh, uh, musicianship and, and technical ability. Uh, when I hear these recordings from that time period, uh, it sounds like almost impossible for a human to achieve. So I was drawn to that as a challenge. And also the music itself is very attractive to me because it's technically very difficult to perform. But when you do it well, it just sounds kind of nice. <laughs> so <laughs> I like that about it too. Um, so I'm going to start with a piece by an English composer named Frank Laws. Um, and I thought I should play a waltz because I didn't think there would be too many waltzes being represented here. So this one is called Progressions. Thank you. I'd like to close with a ragtime piece by James Scott, but before I do, I'm going to play another piece, uh, and I want to give <laughs> a, a little background. So my first exposure to um, rags and ragtime was uh, when I when I was playing. I've been playing fiddle for a much longer than I've been playing banjo, 
and I got into playing fiddle tunes, um, and you know, I found this tune called The Russian Rag in the Fiddler's Fake Book, which was my first introduction to fiddle tunes. A friend of mine said, well, just get the Fiddler's Fake Book. So that's, that's how it began, and I found out that I liked all the tunes that had the word rag in the title. So um, I've been playing the Russian Rag for a really long time, uh, with mostly with my friend Ben Belcher, who's still in the Corn Potato String Band with me, and we, we've done it with a bunch of different people, and that's how I became exposed to classic banjo, this, this style, as many people call it, uh, through um, meeting uh, Curly Miller and Carol Ann Rose and Greg Adams uh, at Clifftop. So um, I'm not going to play the Russian rag, but I will tell you that I've been playing it so long, I've been learning a thing or two about it. It was written by George L. Cobb, and, you know, the popular music of the time included such composers as Rachmaninoff, and the Russian rag is kind of an interpolation of Rachmaninoff's C-sharp minor prelude, which starts with these really distinctive three notes, which uh, it was so popular at the time that when a crowd heard those three notes, they would burst into applause. They were so excited to hear this piece. So George L. Cobb, the composer of the Russian rag, thought, maybe I can make something out of this. So he started his piece with the same three notes, and it worked, you know? It was a big hit. Um, so I wanted to go back and learn how to play the Rachmaninoff prelude. So I, it turns out there is an arrangement by another British banjo composer named Emil Grimshaw, who, um, yeah, he gets a clap. Yes, Emil Grimshaw. <laughs> Fantastic. I love, I love Grimshaw. Um, so yes, he, he made an arrangement of this piece, transposed it to E minor, and I'm going to play it for you now, the Rachmaninoff prelude. The, it's the famous one. Um, so no need to applaud after the first three notes. <laughs>
Thank you. Now I will play uh, for my last piece uh, a James Scott piano rag that was arranged by Fred Van Epps. Um, it's called the Ragtime Oriole. Yeah. And uh, it is possibly, arguably, the first instance of an imitation of a bird call in a ragtime piece. <laughs> so, here we go. Keep it going. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Would you please welcome to the stage Kathy Fink and Marcy Markser, Grammy winning artists. And you can hear their latest album, Shout and Shine, along with Kathy and Marcy and Sam Gleaves. Now, wait a second. You have a third person coming up here. Wait, who, can you introduce your third member over here, please? When, when, when he's ready to play, we'll introduce him because uh. nobody's ever heard of this guy. <laughs> Are we in tune here? Uh, first of all, enough of this flawlessness. <laughs> that was amazing. amazing performance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're going to start with a medley of a new tune that I made up called Goodbye, Anne. And honor of a friend who's no longer here, and Glory in the Meeting House, and my arrangement of Glory in the Meeting House with Marcy comes partially from Adam Hurt and partially from several other sources, and of course adds the cello banjo to the mix, so here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Kovach, uh, one of our mentors and uh, friends of the past whose music we keep with us is a woman named Ola Bell Reed, of course, a National Heritage Fellowship Award winner, a great um, singer and ballad singer and old-time musician from Lansing, North Carolina, but also someone who in her early 20s, long ago, long before the word singer-songwriter was hip or popular, realized that she loved all of her family's old music, but she had her own things to say, and she was going to make up her own songs and write her own songs in that traditional style, and we spent a lot of time with Ola Bell. Now, this is a song that, um, though it's copywritten by her, it's obvious that it's somewhat of a hybrid of a bunch of other things, but that's okay, because we get to feature Marcy on the blues cello banjo, and this is a tune that Ola Bell recorded called Wings Like an Eagle. I'm just going to move over so I'm a little closer yeah, to the here, vocal mic. You? Here, you take more of that. Okay, here we'll just aim There we go. For those of you in Radio Land, we just... Uh, Did something. We just put our sequined outfits on. <laughs>
a place where the sun always shines on me. It's a pleasure to be here. It's been a pleasure to hear everybody play. And uh, ask Adam Hurt to join us. And so back in the mid-1970s when I first heard of the banjo and uh, started playing in Winnipeg, Manitoba and imported uh, a couple of albums, including those most influential Clawhammer banjo, more Clawhammer banjo, and more, more Clawhammer banjo yeah. records on county records. I got those, and then I got a couple of albums that Art uh, Rosenbaum put together, and one of them had this version of Miss McLeod's Reel in this special tuning, which I also learned a lot in this tuning from David Holt, fabulous old time banjo player. And, um, I, from one of those sources, I learned a version of Miss McLeod's Reel, which I think Adam Hurt learned from me, and adapted this tuning as one of his very favorite tunings on the earth. And uh, also, I'm going to say that this, the technique in this tuning is, is where Adam sort of got the seeds of his fancy stuff that's way fancier than anything I could ever do in terms of uh, playing notes that aren't actually there. It's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret in this tune. I only play two or three notes that aren't there, but Adam's figured out how to do it on entire tunes. And so we're going to do a little duet here on Miss McLeod's Reel with Marcy on the cello banjo. Well, is that a good tempo? One, two, three,
That's right. Keep it going. Kathy Fink, Marcy Marcher, Adam Hurt. Yes. Well, as we're getting set up for the last segment of tonight's concert, I, I, I'm hoping that we can keep you working a little bit uh, with a couple more rounds of applause. The first round of applause, I'd like it to be dedicated to the co-founders of the Banjo Gathering, formerly the Banjo Collectors Gathering. Uh, yes, would you please uh, give a warm welcome and gesture of appreciation and affirmation for Peter Zago and Jim Bowman. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Yes, buddy. Yeah, boy. Switch. Great. And then... The team that it's really to worked hard to, to bring together um, what we were able to prepare as we were coming to the gathering. Would you please no, give a care. warm uh, gesture of applause and affirmations to Christina Gaddy, Lillian Werbin, and Hank Schwartz. And we could not ask for better collaborators for our 20th anniversary event than the birthplace of Country Music Museum. We want to thank Renee Rogers, Chris Trulson, and the rest of the team. And big shout out to Josh running the tech. All right. All right. All right. All right, so somewhere in the middle of this huge crowd of people here on stage, uh, there's one person that you need to be introduced to at the last point. Uh, the person to whom it's sometimes suggested the idea for the ga banjo gathering came to us. An author, a scholar, a producer, and musician. Would you please give a big warm round of applause? Bob Carlin. A fashion, a fashion hog, is that what she said? A fashion model. Beth Hartness on guitar, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Kathy Fink on guitar, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Adam Hurt on fiddle, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Marcy Markser on the cello banjo. Anyway, <laughs> this is going to be it. And... We are allowed to be in this museum till 11 tonight. Curfew's 11, so we'll all go at it when we're all done. Uh, <laughs> repeat after me. Repeat after me. <laughs> Turn your radio on. And listen to the music in the air. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. Heaven's glory to share. And the glory to share. Turn your lights down low. Turn your lights down low. And listen to the master's radio. Get in touch with God. Get in touch with God. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. So for all of you listening at home and watching on Facebook Live, here's the tempo for you. Whoop, shut up. <laughs> no, stop, 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 stop. Were you talking to me? No. 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 One, two, three. Into the radio station where the mighty host of heaven sing. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. If you want to hear the songs of Zion come from the land of endless spring, get in touch with God. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. And listen to the music in the air. Turn your radio on. Have a glory to share. Have a glory to share. Turn your light down. 
touch with God. Turn your radio on, turn your radio on. Marcy! Into the Garland Chorus, listen to the glad old Santa's roll. Turn your radio on, turn your radio on, turn your radio on. Get a little home in the heaven, get a little heaven in your soul. Get in touch with God. Listen to WBCM, turn your radio on, and listen to the music in the air. Turn your radio on, have glory to share, glory to share. Turn your light down low. Mothers and the fathers and the many friends gone on before. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. Some eternal morning we shall meet them over on the house. Sure, get in touch with God. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. And listen to the music in the air. Radio on. Heaven glory to share. Heaven glory to share. Turn your light down low. with God, touch with God, turn your radio, I'm doing a little differently, keep vamping there, people, all right, everybody, repeat after me, doobie 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 doo, shooby doobie doobie doo, do 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 do, shooby doobie doobie doo, boo 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 boo, do do you do, do 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 do, doobie doo do do, turn the radio on. I'm going to buy a book, I'm, or maybe a CD. I'm going to go into the brother room, and I'm going to buy the Uncle Dave Bacon book, and I'm going to buy Buy Wine is his book. <laughs> Get in touch with your wallets. Turn the radio on. Get in touch with God. Big finish. Get in touch. Turn your radio on, turn your radio on. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming to the 21st Banjo Gathering. And what a sentiment, Bob Carlin and the Banjo Gathering Ensemble. Give yourself a huge round of applause, a perfect way to end the evening. Folks, if you're tuning in uh, and you're interested in the Banjo Gathering, maybe you want to be a part of the 21st anniversary, uh, you can go to banjogathering.com for more information. Again, this happens every year, so plan on coming to the next one. Uh, a big, big, huge hand to all you guys. Really appreciate you being such a great audience this evening. Thanks to all the folks tuning in wherever you might be. And... Uh, come and join us for two more days of the Banjo Gathering right here at the Birthplace of Country Music Museum and Radio Bristol. Thank you, everybody. inviting you to be a part of our live studio audience. Don't miss this holiday celebration featuring Carolina Blue, Sally and George, and the Church Sisters along with Bill and the Bells. Tickets are $30 and available at listenradiobristol.org. Seating is limited, so reserve your tickets today. And join us Thursday, December 20th for the Farm and Fun Time Christmas Spectacular, supported by Eastman Credit Union right here on Radio Bristol.